Welcome back, everyone. Um, I just first want to start ta saying thank you because these few weeks so full of activity surrounding the celebration of our Lord's birth. You, the prayer team, have remained faithful to scheduling these 20 minutes on Tuesday to pray for our nation and for presidential candidate Ted Cruz. We and he and Ted, I mean, and Heidi are so grateful. And they know that the kind of enabling grace they are now experiencing from God's hand is in many ways due to your prayers being answered. One email that I received last week read, Please do not stop this prayer vigil. There's no intention, my friends, on taking a break or canceling. So I'm just asking you to stay fervent in your prayers. A team means that we are all in this together. We're supporting one another as we lift up our country and Ted. Together we're celebrating what God has already done in answer to our prayers and what he will do as we enter this new year. Today, everyone, you're going to hear from two godly men who reside in Hong Kong. Let me tell you how uh, I met them. My husband and I met Tyler Self and Mark Zhao three weeks ago while in a prison, a Texas prison. Prisoners soon to be released had just completed a, a, a rigorous program which enabled them to be productive citizens upon release. This graduation turned out to be one of those God-appointed meetings in that very crowded prison gym. My husband and I turned around and we met four men from Hong Kong. Two of them are with us today. We learned that they are men of prayer, men of godly passion, men who are praying for the United States of America, and get this, men who represent hundreds of others who are praying for presidential candidates. Ted Cruz. Tyler and Mark uh, joined us the following week in the Cruz campaign headquarters for our weekly uh, Wednesday morning Bible study and prayer time, which we do every Wednesday uh, here in the, in the office. So I invited them to lead us in prayer today uh, before they return home to Hong Kong. Mark, uh, as a matter of fact, sits right now in an airport awaiting his flight back to Hong Kong. Let's pray, shall we, before we, uh, before you meet uh, Tyler and Mark. Lord, how we thank you that you choose your people from all corners of your world to intercede for this nation. Lord, this land founded by men and women chosen and anointed by you. We are deeply grateful together today. And it's by your grace that we shall not grow weary of lifting our country in this presidential election before you. Father, we do not underestimate the power of prayer, and we're thankful that you've given us today, Tyler and Mark, to encourage us during this season of prayer. Speak to us through each one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My plan today is to introduce Tyler to you, who will lead us in prayer, and then he will introduce to you, Mark. Uh, Tyler, in Hong Kong, is the director of Two, Cap Two Capital. He's resided there for three years. He's originally from Texas. Tyler is married to Lauren. He has three children, and we welcome him today. Thank you, Tyler. Well, thank you, Bonnie. It's, it's an honor to be serving in this way, along with our good friend, Mark Joe. We've been so encouraged to get to know you all and to, to know some of the Cruz campaign for many years. And what we see is a group of people who are abiding in Jesus. And we believe that that's one of the needs in our nation now, is to see a group of people who are abiding in Jesus, that the Father's raising up to affect change. Um, Jesus said, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. He said, I'm the vine, you're the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. We remember meeting a pastor and an elder in Beijing, and he told us a story, kind of a parable. He said, you show me five men who wake up in the morning, and one of them makes a cup of coffee, and one of them turns on the TV, one goes for a run, one checks his phone, but the fifth man prays. 
He said, I don't know going to heaven, which going to heaven, which of those men are going to hell, but I can tell you which of those men are abiding in Jesus. And what we see in Senator Cruz and his family, the campaign members that we know are people who are abiding in Jesus, and we're thankful that there's a candidate who's abiding. We see an enemy-sized problem in our nation today, and we believe it requires a God-sized solution. And we'll see that affected through people who are abiding in Jesus. Only those can usher in the presence of the Lord. So let's pray now for our nation. Pray for what we're seeing in the world today. And then I'll introduce our brother, Mark Joe, who can lead us in a prayer for the campaign events. Father, we thank you for this nation. We thank you for the United States. We thank you for the leaders who are serving. And we pray today that you would bless this nation in Jesus' name. We pray a blessing of the Lord Jesus over America. We pray, Father, that you'd bless each of the congressmen who are serving. We ask, Father, that you'd bless our President Obama and his family. And, Father, we pray that you would bless each of the towns, each of the states in this nation. We pray that you'd usher in the presence of the Lord, and we ask that your people who are called by your name would pray and humble themselves and seek your face. They would turn away from their evil ways. They would repent of their sins that they would hear your voice, that you would hear their prayers and you'd forgive their sins and that you would heal their cities and their towns. Father, we pray that as we run this race, that we'll run it in such a way as to receive a prize, that we would obtain this prize. And we pray that for Senator Cruz and we pray that for this campaign, that, that we would run together a race in a way to receive the prize, not to receive a perishable crown, but for an imperishable crown. We pray today, Father, for the vote. We believe that you've given a stewardship of the vote to each of the citizens in this nation, and we pray that you would bless each of the votes in this nation with the realization of the power and the impact of their vote. We pray that people would get out and vote. We pray, Father, that you would prompt their hearts to know who to vote for. Father, we pray that you'd bless them with wisdom to know how to vote. We pray that you'd bless them with revelation to know how to vote. We pray, Father, that you'd bless people with dreams and visions to guide their vote, not by marketing, not by slick campaigns, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Father, we pray that you bless this nation with truth. We pray that you weaken any attack or spirit of deceit over this nation in Jesus' name. And we pray that you weaken this attack of deceit over this campaign, over this presidential campaign in Jesus' name. And Father, we pray that you loosen your blessings of truth over this nation. We ask, Father, for a deep revelation of your truth. You said, we'll know the truth. The truth will set us free. We pray that you bless this nation with truth. Father, please bless Houston with truth, where so many of our people are based. We pray that you bless this city. We pray that you bless Texas with truth, and we pray that you bless each of the states in this nation with your blessings of truth. Father, we ask that you would place a hedge around those uh, in the campaign. Father, please pl place a hedge around Senator Cruz and his household, Heidi, Carolyn, Catherine. We ask that you put a wall of fire all around them, protect them, hedge them behind before all around his household, around all of those on the team. We pray that you'd bless Willie Langston, Laura and Becca and Will. We pray, Father, that you'd bless Bonnie and her prayer team. Hedge them, Father. Bless us with a shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one. And, Father, we also want to pray that you would fight this battle. You say in Second Chronicles chapter 20 that we should not be afraid nor be dismayed because of a great multitude coming against us. And you say, the battle is not ours, the battle is God's. And so, Father, we ask that, that we would rest in that promise and we'd rest in the realization to knowing that we cannot bear fruit of ourselves, but only you can bear fruit through us and we're abiding in you. So, Father, please fight this battle. We pray, God, that we would be able to position ourselves and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So be with us. Fight this battle for us. I pray that you would um, just remove and rebuke any fear coming against your people in the U.S. today. Father, please bless our country with peace and shalom. And Father, I ask that you'd give us confidence. We'd find our confidence in the Lord. We'd boast in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ that we can go up against any of those that are attacking us because you were with us. And Father, finally, I want to pray for the season that's coming up. It's going to be a very busy season for um, Senator Cruz and for the campaign staff. And I just get the sense that we're ascending towards some very key dates. Um, Iowa, February 1st, Super Tuesday on March 1st. And you tell us in the book of Psalms, who may ascend to the hill of the Lord? 
we're, we're entering a season of ascending. We're, we're ascending this mountain that's coming before us. And who may ascend the hill of the Lord? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. And so, Father, we ask that too, that as we ascend into these next weeks and months, that we would ascend with righteousness and with your blessing. And, Father, please bless our nation over the coming weeks and months with righteousness and blessing. We pray for pure hearts and clean hands. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. It's an honor to be able to introduce my, my good friend and brother, Mark Joe. Mark and I met years ago in Hong Kong, and we've been on a journey ever since. I've admired Mark from a distance and also very closely uh, as a, a brother, a pastor, a revival preacher, a consultant, and someone who's able to develop leaders, someone who's able to minister to other leaders like pastors and CEOs. Mark and his wife, Linda, have lived in Hong Kong for eight years. He spends most of his time traveling through China where he is getting on his knees and he's serving those who are serving others. And Mark was encouraging us by, let, by telling us how the pastors and the CEOs that he's met have felt burdened to pray for Ted Cruz and to pray for the U.S. And so Mark will share more of that here in a moment. But Mark, we love you, brother. We thank you for your service in China. We thank you for our service for our country as well. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, thank you, Bonnie. And uh, I'm here in this country, the land of free, home of brave. I just want to show my gratitude to all of you and uh, in this wonderful, beautiful country and your prayers uh, for China and, uh, many, many years ago. And, uh, and uh, I was a college student, but became very uh, disappointed and uh, something happened to my country and uh, I lost my hope and dream. But someone from this country and uh, came to my university and shared the good news with me. And uh, when he was telling me, when I was asking him about what is freedom, you know, I was thinking, you know, he's from uh, America, a country of freedom. He was simply told me that, that the freedom is from the truth. And then he led me to the word of God, book of John. And Jesus said, you will know the truth. The truth will set you free. If the Son of God set you free, you are free indeed. And Jesus later said, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I found my new freedom in Christ back in 1991. That's the new beginning of my journey and uh, with the Lord, but also my new appreciation about this country, America. And, and I know this country has been a blessing to many nations all these years. And uh, not only send out missionaries, but, you know, the generosity to help people in the world. And so I'm here just, you know, say my uh, gratitude also on behalf of the uh, Christians in Asia, in China, and uh, it's our heart to pray for this country. May God continue to use this country to be a blessing to many nations, and particularly for Ted Cruz and our brother in Christ. I know he's uh, from a very godly nation. He has a godly father, uh, such a spiritual heritage, and uh, we pray for him and his family, and uh, may God's protection on him. So, and uh, this morning when I woke up, I read the scripture in uh, Isaiah 60. It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. The darkness covers the earth, and the thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Father, I pray for this nation. I pray for this nation that the founding fathers, when they came here, they had this vision, they had this dream to worship you in freedom. Father, you honored that, uh, honored that request, Father. And this nation has been founded upon the justice and righteousness and men of prayer, Father. And I pray, Father, in this new season, you will continue to pour out your blessings on this nation. May they carry on the spiritual heritage, Father. You remember, the, Father, the great awakening by Jonathan Edwards, by um, Charles Finney, when the nation was facing 
the crisis body fell on their knees and cried out to you, repent from the wicked ways. You heard from heaven. You start a great awakening, Lord Jesus. You have mercy on this land, Father. You have blessed this nation so this nation can be a blessing to many nations. You have sent out missionaries, Lord, from the churches in this country. So, Father, again, we ask you to have mercy on this land. May this new land, may this nation come back to you, Lord. One nation under God. Honor you. Honor your God in different ways, Lord. Pray for the churches in America, Father. May the pastors, leaders who have renewed their vision, Lord Jesus, uh, revive the church, the body of Christ in this country, Father. Bless, Lord, the, the, the political leaders in this nation, Father. May they again have the fear of God. Like the, the Spirit of the Lord rests upon them, Lord. May the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and of power, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord then they will delight in the fear of the Lord. Father, I pray for Ted, our brother, in Christ and his team. And, uh, Lord, may you use this time, Lord, to draw them closer to you. Seek your kingdom and seek your righteousness. Because you said, Lord, uh, all the rest will be added to them, Father. Father, you hear the cry of your people in this nation, Lord. Lord, when the, you, the word says, when the, na- when the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord, you are raising up a people. Build, rebuild the ancient ruins and it will raise up the age old foundations. And they will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of street with bleeding, Lord. We thank you, Father. We pray that this generation will raise up, Lord, to rebuild the ancient ruins, raise up age old foundations, built upon Jesus Christ and the apostles and the prophets, Lord Jesus. May you, Lord, have mercy, Lord. When, uh, when the team travel to different states, different uh, events, Lord, uh, the Iowa uh, Caucus and New Hampshire uh, Primary, South Carolina Primary, uh, Super Tuesday, Father, may your presence go with them. May you give them rest in you. Renew the vision, Father, for this nation. Renew, Lord, your covenant with this people, Father. I pray, Father, like what you did in England, Lord, when there is crisis, evangelical revival, Lord, you raise up Jonathan, uh, uh, John Wesley, um, John Newton, uh, William Weberfold, see a transformation, Lord. I pray, Father, you will do the same thing, see the transformation of this nation. Do again, Lord, another great awakening. May this great awakening will have global impact, Lord, for your kingdom and for your heart to be satisfied and for your will be done, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the honor to come before your son, to pray, to intercede. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And amen. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Tyler and Mark. Somehow I sense the rest of you across our country feel the same way that I do right now, that the Lord is sending us out of this year full of the Holy Spirit. So Mark and Tyler, thank you for touching us today with your anointed and God-given prayers. And we will see you next week, uh, the 1st of uh, 2016, and we're going to look forward to praying with you throughout the year. May God bless each of you.